Hello beauties, my name is Eva and today's video is third video with the newest Nabla collection. In my first video I showed you whole collection in general. In my last video we tested full platinum bundle lipstick Cupid's Arrow palette. I used all six shades and today I'm going to do the same that I did in my last video but with Metropolitan Bundle. So I'm going to use Metropolitan palette and yes I'm going to use all these gorgeous beautiful fantastic shades so this makeup will be very colorful and uh, very blinding, sparkling, shimmering. Also, I'm going to use um, Cupid's Arrow number no. 2 and Glam Touch lipstick in shade Metropolitan. So I'm going to use full Metropolitan bundle. And side note, in the next video I'm going to do the same that I did in last video and in today's video, but with Wild Berry bundle. Anyway, I'm going to apply my P. Louise base and meanwhile you're going to see some close-up of this collection and of course full swatches. Because there's no matte base shade in this palette and I really like to have control over my underbrow area, that's why I'm taking my uh, single matte base shade. And of course, as always, this is not mandatory step. Let's do this. In this palette there's only two matte shades, the same as in platinum one. However, these shades are very specific because one is really really blinding neon. I don't even know if camera will show you <laughs> how this neon is really neon-like um, and it's dark brown here so I'm going to see what I can do with both of these shades but I think I'm going to start with this dark brown so I'm taking shade Lord and as always Nabla's matte formula is very creamy. I'm applying this shade in my outer corner with some tapping moves and also outer corner lower eyelid I'm not adding more, I only spreading what I have already on my eyelid and on my brush And of course this makeup won't be super crazy competition of my skills, cut creasing, spotlighting, liners, graphic shapes and all that stuff. This will be really, really simple makeup just to show you whole six shades. Because this is why we are here today, to test all six shades. Not to learn some crazy new makeup techniques. Okay, I'm taking a little more to intensify my outer corners and that should be it, however I really don't want very dark makeup but we shall see what we will have here so far this dark shade is... hmm it's actually cool toned brown, not warm tone or more neutral one but it's pretty. Now I'm going to blend even more this brown eyeshadow but with other shade and this shade will be nothing personal 
And this neon coral is really neon. <laughs> I'm going to apply it on this brown and blend everything. Uh, we shall see what I will achieve by doing this. Like I said, I'm applying this shade on this brown shade. I have only two shades here, matte shades, so I need to experiment to create new shades and to make this makeup more interesting. However, I have feeling that those shimmer, metallic and super sparkle shades are going to make this makeup enough interesting. <laughs> Okay, I really like it because this um, this coral one blended with this brown very nicely. I applied, as you saw, this uh, coral shade on this brown and this brown is still visible, but it's not so intense. And I really like it. It's something new. To be honest, I don't use this technique very often, but with these eyeshadows this technique works and it works really, really good because I don't have need to apply this brown shade even more in this outer corner. It's still here, I still can see it, it's still good blended. Now I'm taking shade Love Resin and with my finger I'm applying this shade in my outer corner. Oh, this is gorgeous shade. I love these little um, gold sparkles. And of course I'm helping myself with brush to blend this shade even better. Oh, but really, it's really beautiful shade. I promised to use all six shades and I'll do it, but really it tempts me to apply this love resin on my whole eyelid. It won't be so gorgeous anyway, because we have here some gold particles in this um, hmm, burgundy shade. Let's say it's burgundy. It's something between red and brown. So I'm taking shade Anomalia. I will start with my finger also and then I'm going to help myself with brush and of course on upper eyelid but more inner part. Hmm, this formula has so many these gold particles, it's almost like like glitter. And now I'm taking on one side of my brush this shade Love Resin, on other side this Anomalia shade, this gold one. And I'm going to blend both of these shades on the middle of my eyelid. So I'm playing gold one and then this burgundy one. And again. And again until I will be satisfied. And now we already have magic on on eyes. Hmm. <laughs> Two more shades to go. So I'm taking shade Dissolution. I already see in palette how blinding it is. I did it with brush. I'm taking this shade and look what is happening. Like, whoa! <laughs> And now I don't know where to use it, because this tree from Alaska is also <laughs> BAM! But okay, I'm going to use this shade on my lower eyelid. So here. Or although I really wish to, I can't use all shades everywhere. <laughs> Blinding. Ooh, ah, it is. It is. Okay, shout at me, but I really want to use Alaska the same way I did in my first video. I'm sorry. So I'm taking shade Alaska. And this gorgeous topper, this gorgeous triple chrome, I'm going to use as my inner corner highlight. 
Yes, give me more. And here. I mean, look at this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yes, Nabla stoppers are something to live for. Now I want to use uh, Cupid's arrow number two as my eyeliner. I don't have slightest idea how it will look like. I'm going to use um, angled brush and I just apply this, let's call it pencil, on this brush and we shall see how it will look like. In my previous video I used this um, Longwear Stylo because this is the proper name of this product. I used this under my eyeshadow, so as my base. I did it with first one, so from the Platinum Bundle and it worked very good. It was alright, it also was alright as lip pencil. Hmm. Promising, very promising. Little cutie wing. That's fantastic. I'm going to repeat the same on my left eye. I'm going to apply lashes. I'll do face and I have also lipstick to test. I don't know if I'm going, maybe. I'm going to use Alaska as my um, highlighter again and maybe I'll use this uh, Cupid's Arrow as my lip pencil again. I'm not sure yet, but I am sure that we have some more to test, so be right back. I'm sorry if this makeup reminds you of my other makeup that is already on this channel. I even use the same background, no matter, but this video is not about cool and new makeup, it's about testing the newest Nabla collection. I'm sorry, I just wanted to use all six shades on my eyelids and this is makeup that popped in my head so it is what it is uh, i used cupid's arrow as my liner and it's pretty good also i use it as my uh, waterline pencil and now i want to only show you that uh, i use this shade alaska i'm going to use it also as my highlighter but it is a little dirty. I don't know if you... Oh, I think you can see it. It is a little dirty and that's actually normal and I will show you that all toppers and shades that has more translucent base. This is not only Nabla's issue, this is issue with every topper, with every eyeshadow that has this uh, translucent base. So this is Alaska and as you can see, although I have this um, eyeshadow already dirty, it's not dirty on swatch, so it's not problem, but I'm just letting you know that these eyeshadows will be dirty on pan. This is Lucid Dream and it's also already a little dirty, but when I swatch it, it's fine. As you can as you can tell two very popular toppers are in secret palette and poison garden palette in poison garden uh, there is this one shade and you also can see that it's dirty already but i'm taking my finger and it's okay it's not dirty on swatch it's not dirty on eye there's nothing to be worried about and in secret palette there is shade Play Hard, which is very dirty shade in my palette. I use it a lot. But again, as you can tell, it's fine. Everything's fine with this shade. I'm just letting you know that uh, although this shade Alaska is already dirty, it's not a tragedy and it's only in a pan. When you will take it with brush or with finger, it should be fine keep that in mind. So if you are talking about Alaska shade, I want to use it as my highlighter. I use it as my highlighter in my first video, however, I didn't show you that. There was only eye makeup and that was it. Watch this. Magic. And this is also why my Nabla toppers are dirty. I use it almost 
everywhere. So it's normal that I take brush, for example, I apply it on the middle of my eyelid on other shades. And then I take this brush and dip in pan again because I want more of this topper. So it gets dirty, it's normal. You can only keep in mind that if you use these toppers as your highlighters, be sure to set your foundation. Otherwise these toppers are going to, um, I believe it calls that they are getting hard in pan. I think this is the proper name for it. That means that they are getting very hard to take them uh, off the pan, but this is not only um, that you can beware of it uh, in Nabla stoppers, but in any um, highlighters, more creamy formulas. Just keep in mind that if you will dip again in pan, those products can get dirty or even uh, get hard. Now maybe it won't be super smart, but this lipstick is very light and I thought to outline my lips with this dark pencil. Maybe it won't be very smart, but I will take this risk because I don't want to apply too much of this dark stylo. I will take it on lip pencil, on lip brush. Where's your mind? And now I'm going to outline my lips. And we got it. Of course, I blended edges to the inside so I don't have so harsh lines. It's time to use um, Glam Touch lipstick in shade Metropolitan. I already used previous shades, so uh, Platinum... Previous. From Platinum Bundle, so Platinum shade. Uh, so I already know what to expect from this lipstick and it's very creamy, it's very fine lipstick. I really like this formula. Oh, this one smells differently. If I would say how it smells, it's something like, something like coconut? And this smell intensifies when you apply this lipstick. It, it melts from um, warm of your body and that's actually fine I like when lipsticks do that because it's easy to apply them then and then you can feel the scent of this lipstick but it's really nice 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 really it's not super intense so don't worry if you don't like when your cosmetics uh, smell in any way it's not very intense uh, scent and Fun fact that this lipstick smells differently than Platinum. And also I already know that Wildberry also smells differently, but this will be in my next video. <laughs>
longwear multi-use style on waterline also fantastic i talk more about this in previous video because i tested the first one and metropolitan palette can we talk about this packaging for a moment it's like <laughs> It's so gorgeous, beautiful design and I really love that Nabla is putting their culture, so Italian culture, in their product with, for example, names that are in Italian and here we have... I am sure that this is David by Michelangelo, so I really love it. I'm fan. I'm big fan. And of course inside we have absolutely amazing, beautiful, gorgeous shades with triple chrome topper. I mean, ugh. and this gold is also fantastic and I love all these shades. I'm sorry that I can't show you on ice this gorgeous, um, vibrant coral because I blended with this brown shade. But don't worry, I think that I'm going to make another video with this palette, so there will be one day when I will show you how vibrant this shade is. There's only one bundle left from this, the newest collection, so it's Wildberry Bundle, and this will be in my next video. So in my next video that will occur on Friday, I'm going to review for you and swatch and close-ups and all what you see today but with white berry bundle so with glam touch lipstick in shade white berry cupid's bow number three and of course wild berry palette and of course i'm going to use all six shades anyway i hope that you will stay with me and wait for this wildberry bundle so you know if you're new here subscribe i will be grateful we have a great time here i hope at least that you have great time because i have really i love especially edit videos but that's a side note <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoy that and as always i love you very very much and i see you soon bye